Hello and welcome back to Mrs. Torres' YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about two ways that we can prove triangles are congruent. So in total we're going to talk about five. So today we're going to talk about the first two and then there's another video on the last three. So the first postulate, that's just kind of like a theorem, it's like a thing we can use to prove triangles are congruent, is called side, 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 which we abbreviate SSS. That says if three sides of one triangle are congruent to corresponding sides of another, the triangles are congruent. So if you look over here at this picture, I'm use a pen. we have one set of congruent sides, two sets of congruent sides, and the third set of congruent sides. So that makes those triangles congruent by side, side, side. All right, so let's take a look at these pairs of triangles and we're gonna decide if they're congruent by side, side, side. So if we look at the first one, look at our markings. We have, all right, we have one pair of congruent sides. We have another pair of congruent sides and we have a third pair of congruent sides. So these, we can prove are congruent by side, side, side. Take a look at the next one. We have one pair of congruent sides. We have two pairs of congruent sides, but look at the last side. This one has one tick mark and this one has two tick marks, which means those are not congruent. So we cannot prove these congruent by side, side, side. The third one, we have top and bottom are congruent side and side are congruent, and then they share the third side. So if they share the side, that's obviously congruent to itself, right? Remember, that's the reflexive property. So this one we could prove are congruent by side, side, side. And the last one here, we have one pair of congruent sides, a second pair of congruent sides, and then we have a congruent angle. So we could not prove this by side, side, side specifically. So this we're just asking by side, side, side. All right, and the second postulate or way that we can prove triangles are congruent is called side, angle, side, which we abbreviate SAS. So it says if two sides and an included angle of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding parts of another, the triangles are congruent. That is the key to side, angle, side the angle needs to be included. What that means is, if you look over at this picture, so we have one pair of congruent sides, another pair of congruent sides, and then the angle in between. So the angle that those two congruent sides make up is congruent, so that's how we get side angle side, so the angle's in the middle. All right, let's take a look at these. So look at number one, we have a pair of congruent sides, another pair of congruent sides, and the angle that's included in those uh, sides. So that one we could prove is congruent by side, angle, side. The next one, we have a pair of sides, a second pair of sides, and then again, the angle in between. So that one we could prove congruent by side, angle, side. Let's take a look at number three. We have a pair of congruent sides, another pair of congruent sides, but this angle is not included in the two sides. If these two angles were congruent, then we could use side angle side, but since the angle's over here, we cannot prove that's congruent by side angle side. And let's, let's look at the last one. So we have a pair of angles, another pair of angles, and then the angle included, but this angle is not included. It would need to be this angle here. So this one we cannot prove congruent by side angle side. All right, that's it for today. See you in my next video.